Facebook and YouTube. It's your boy Self with the Urban Spirit. Got a good one for y'all. We back. We back, man. This, well, technically, it's uh, Tuesday. <laughs> but uh, like, comment, subscribe, please. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. New to YouTube, trying to grow being here eight months. In the end of February, in January, we'll be nine. It's almost the end of January, so we almost been nine months on YouTube, y'all. Please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. And I'm focusing on likes this year. You give me a lot of likes, y'all. Likes help to go out to the YouTube algorithm. So like my videos. All right, y'all. I know I'm late. Um, I'm getting used to my schedule, um, whatever. And things on my channel are gonna change just a little bit. And um, I'm just gonna tell y'all now then. Um, probably starting the beginning of the tournament, which starts in March. Shout out to the 64 March Madness All-Female Rap Battle Tournament, 64 girls. The bracket is already done. Uh, that video showing how the bracket is done, all the girls in the tournament and all that, the explanation, all the creation of all that, that video will be coming out at the beginning of February, February 1st, whatever that day is. You'll see that video. So uh, you're going to find out who's in the tournament, who's going to win. Uh, all the judges, I need y'all to chi uh, 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 chi not chime in. Um, report in so I know y'all y'all ready and willing because I, I haven't heard from some of those judges in a minute I started just to hear I hear from them all the time but um, I haven't heard from a lot of them um, I want to add some new judges um, I'm gonna say shout out to mr. blind guy I don't know if you're watching this video but um, I appreciate all your commentary all your uh, your ideas and everything about helping me make my channel better you know what I'm saying uh, we definitely talk about a lot of things as time goes on, um, but uh, I have a question. I asked, I, t I hit you up in the comments, asked, do you like hip-hop? I'm not sure if you answered or not, but uh, if you like hip-hop, we're doing a gospel song today, but if, you, if you're watching this video and you're the Mr. Blind Guy, you like hip-hop, uh, send me a message saying, yeah, I do like hip-hop, because I would like for you to be a judge in a new tournament. Um, I specifically like the way you give your comments. You know, you're just straight and real. You know what I'm saying? And I respect that. And I need someone like that in the tournament as a judge. Someone who comes in from a different perspective. Just telling him, telling the real raw and uncut who really won. Instead of uh, people coming in with ulterior motives saying they picked a certain person even though they really like that person. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you'll be a really good judge. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do tournaments on my channel. You go check that out. Uh, you just type in the Urban Experience tournaments, and you'll see mad videos. <laughs> and you just follow the rabbit hole. They'll get you back to how the video started and everything, how the tournament looks, and the brackets and all that stuff. But again, you know what I'm talking about on February 1st, anyway. So, Mr. Blind Guy, Mr. Blind Guy, please <laughs> uh, send me a comment saying yay or nay. Even if you say no, that's fine. I just want to know if you know yay or nay. I don't even know if you like hip hop, but even if you don't like hip hop, it's even better if you're willing to be a judge, because that means you're going to be giving me straight, real answers. So, let me know. Also, uh, I want to say shout out to, um, I don't know if she's watching this video, Denise Livingstone, she sent a uh, message on um, the female rap tournament. I might say her name in another video, but Denise Livingstone, if you're watching this video, Send me a message. I would like for you to be a judge also. Last judge that I'm going to say on this video that I need, I want to talk to. Uh, and if we can't have too many judges, there's never not, there's never can be too many judges because as long as we do them in increments of two, we're good. So, uh, the Geek Beast. I'm going to make sure I'm saying the name right. The Geek Beast. You're one of my original, one of my greatest commenters, man. You've been on my channel for a minute. I see you always coming and coming and coming and I appreciate it, bro. I really do. And I think you would be an amazing judge. <laughs> I really do. So you, you, I definitely, definitely want you to hit me up and let me know if you're willing to judge. Uh, I would really appreciate if you are willing to. But please let me know. And um, all the other judges, we we already know who you are. Just hit me up in my Instagram, um, the Geek Beast and the Blind Guy. I don't know if the Blind Guy has an Instagram um, or the geek beast but y'all do have instagram hit me up on my instagram you see it all over the screen and uh the urban experience 2020 and um 
what that'll do to that allow me to um, uh, find out for sure. You know, all that good stuff. We can talk a little bit easier on Instagram because it's not going to comment and uh, all that good stuff. Anyway, let's get to the song, y'all. I just wanted to talk to y'all, talk to everybody about that. And uh, those three people, please hit me up. I got some other people, but I'm gonna talk to them in the uh, in the uh, Harry Mack video, and I'm doing that later today. So Kanye West Orchard Beam, this is a Christian song. This is our Christian Sundays, and um, yeah, and uh, oh, make this bigger, and uh, here we go. We <laughs> so this is interesting. This is my very first Christian Kanye West song I've ever heard. This is gonna be extremely interesting. I heard he had a couple of these CDs too. So I I want to kind of get more into his uh, archive and the Christian music. Very interesting because he didn't used to be a Christian music rapper. So that's very intriguing to what we're listening to. Here we go. And I think this is my first time listening to Chance the Rapper. I think he's on this uh, yeah, featuring Chance the Rapper. So, yeah, I might have heard another. I think that real famous song from Chance the Rapper I've heard, but that's it. I, I've never heard anything else from Chance the Rapper. And I hear a lot of good things about Chance the Rapper. So, we're going to check him out one of these days, y'all. Ultra light beam, we on the ultra light beam. This is a god dream. This is a god dream. This is everything. This is everything. All right, we're gonna finish this song, and I uh, it clearly can get upbeat later. But this is more of a slower song. We're gonna still listen to it because I love Kanye West. But all the Christian Kanye West songs that I want y'all to send me, send me the upbeat ones. I want some upbeat Christian music. I don't know if I said it in the comments or not, but don't just give me any Kanye West song. Give me some of his upbeat Christian music songs. Deliver us serenity. Deliver us peace. Mm. Deliver us love. Eh? Mm. We know we need it. You know we need it. Probably will switch it up because he's he's one of the greatest producers of all time. So I know it got some type of twist in this song. You know when it the woman need you now. Pray for Paris. Pray for the parents. This is a God dream. This is a God dream. This is a God dream. We on a ultra light beam. We on a ultra light beam. This is a god dream. This is a god dream. This is. Ah, uh, that, 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 that background singers came out of nowhere, boy. <laughs> you wait. I ain't gonna lie, boy. I was feeling kind of sad for this song. I was like, this song is terrible. <laughs> but uh, you can't really have a terrible gospel song. But y'all know what I mean, damn it. <laughs> We on a ultra light beam. We on a ultra light beam. This is a god dream. This is a god dream. This is everything. Everything. So it seems like he's using Kirk Franklin. Uh, that, that's really interesting. That's really interesting that he's doing that. Using the Kirk Franklin idea to... Um, to how you know have the really 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 good background singers and that's what makes this song sound so beautiful and uh if that's the case that mean that that'd be interesting that'd be really interesting but the reason why Kirk Franklin's song sounds so great he has so many upbeat songs he got some slower songs too you know as a Kirk Franklin song you could fan you could love those but his upbeat songs are what made them you know what I'm saying so give me some upbeat songs to Kanye West y'all but I'm looking for more Somewhere I can feel safe And in my holy war I'm trying to keep my faith 
crushing our blessings. Why, oh, why'd you do me wrong? You persecute the weak because it makes you feel so strong. You don't have much strength to fight, so I look to the light. So make these wrongs turn right. For you, I will shield your name. I will feel their questions. I will feel your pain. They don't know. They don't, they don't know. They don't know. Foot on the devil's neck to the drifted Pangea. I'm moving all my family from Chatham to Zambia. Treat the demons just like Pam. I mean, I fuck with your friends, but damn, Gina. I've been this way since Arthur was Aunt Eater. Now they want to hit me with the woo out the bam. Trying to snap photos of family. Uh. My daughter look just like Sia. You can't see her. You can feel the lyrics of spirit coming in Braille. Tumming of the underground, come and follow the trail. I made Sunday candy, I'm never going to hell. I met Kanye West, I'm never going to fail. He said, let's do a good ass job with... Facts. <laughs> you won't fail if you meet Kanye West, bro. That's facts. All these people over the last couple of years been talking saying a lot of bad things about Kanye West. Y'all need to chill. He's still one of the greatest producers in the history of production. By far. Period. He's better than producers who made a living off producing. Like Timberlane and people like that. Don't 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 sleep on Kanye West. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I asked somebody in the comments the other day I was talking about uh how you gonna say uh Kanye West better than Jay Z when Kanye West he was Jay Z produ producer before he became Kanye West. Why you think Jay Z is so good? Cause Kanye West produced him. Stop playing. You talking about all this junk? Come on, man. <laughs> I ain't. Even, I don't. Even, I only know a lot of Jay Z music. I only. Heard, I ain't never really heard of Blueprints and all that. We're gonna get into that one day. But all I'm saying is college dropout, late registration, early graduate. Come on now. Let's stop being disrespectful here. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm all, it was nothing like those albums. Nothing. When you talk to any, anybody who listen to Kanye West, they talk about those three albums all the time. <laughs> nothing like those. They're legendary. Just different. Just different. Anyway. With Chance 3, I hear you gotta sell it to snatch the grand meat. Let's make it so free and the bar so hard that the day one got start part. You can't tweet. This is my part, nobody else speak. <clears throat> this is my part, nobody else speak. <clears throat> this little light of mine. Glory be to God, yeah. I'ma make sure that they go where they can't go. If they don't wanna ride, I'ma still give them raincoats. Know what God said when he made the first rainbow? Just throw this at the end if I'm too late for the intro. Uh, I'm just having fun with it. You know that a nigga was. That's Chance, y'all. Tell me this is Chance. I think this is Chance. It don't sound like Kanye. Lost. I left in my head because I bet that my ex looking back like a pillar of salt. Uh, Cause they've left the script on your ass like Wesley and Spike. You cannot mess with the light. Look at the channel from 79. We on an ultra light beam. We on an ultra light beam. This is a God dream. This is a God dream. This is everything. Everything. I'm trying to keep my faith, yes. but I'm looking for more. Somewhere I can feel safe, and in my holy war. Father, this prayer is for everyone that feels they're not good enough. This press for everybody that feels that they're too. Who is this? This sounds like uh, um, Kurt. Who is this? Messed up. For everyone that feels they said I'm sorry too many times. You can never go too far when you can't come back home again. That's why I need. That'll be an amazing collaboration, Kirk and Kanye. Oh my God, that'll be interesting. Mm. 
All right, y'all. Little Ultra Light Bean. Uh, clearly, Kanye West is cool. He's good. It looked like Chance is a pretty decent rapper. The song was trash. Uh, the production of the song uh, was not my favorite by far. Um, you would compare it to like slower music, I'd say it was alright then. But it still wasn't that great. Um, so that is a terrible introduction to the first gospel song of Kanye. This will be on the show. So whoever gave me this 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 reaction, I know it might have been your favorite song and all that. Y'all gotta be careful with giving me the first time listening to your favorite song when they trash. <laughs> I'm just saying, like that wasn't the greatest. That, it was a very great message. I know a lot of people get confused the message over the song. The message was amazing, very deep, but the song itself was no, not that great at all. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, the message didn't save that song for me. So uh, well, we'll try next time. And then Kanye West, is Kanye West, he already solidified his legendary status. So <laughs> it was okay for him to throw trash songs here and there. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> that was pure trash. But uh, yeah, please give me an upbeat song from the Christian side. We just wasted a Christian Sunday, man. It's tough. We didn't waste it because it was a good message. But um, yeah. Other than that, like, comment, subscribe. We out. I'm the urban experience. Where we do things the urban. Experience.